I'd like to draw everyone's attention to the, the dot monitor here. This is our chat room. Sometimes, some people don't believe me, but we're going to take your questions live. We've got an exciting guest later on, someone that we can all you know, learn a bit from and, and have a little fun with. Give us your questions. Say hello. Say who you are. Let us know you're here, because every now and then we're going to go to the chat room and, uh, and welcome you. Now let's go to Debbie Miller right now. Looks like she's got a question coming in from the chat room. OK, the Alex says, hi, 7D or 5D MK2? I think the 5D looks way better. Uh, but the answer for that, for photography, 5D. A lot more information, bigger chip. For video, that bigger chip makes it a little harder to keep focus. Also, you're going to have to upgrade your firmware to get the 24P. So my answer on that is 7D. All right. Um, go ahead and ask questions. Even if they're a little off topic, we're going to make some time for you. We're going to get your answers. Uh, but now. Please join me on this side of the studio here. This is the segment that brings everyone back where I get to do my favorite thing, and that's share cameras with all of you guys. Today we're featuring Sony's PMW350. This is an S by S camcorder, okay? It records to the same media as your EX3s and your EX1s. Digital media, so you know, instant access to your files, no uh, fast forwarding of tape, that kind of thing. What's, uh, what sets it apart from its little brothers, the EXs, Number one, two-thirds inch chip, all right? So uh, a nice, gigantic chip that uh, allows you to use your existing glass or, you know, get the, the lens that comes with it. Nice thing about this lens, the difference between buying the camera with the lens and without the lens is only about 1,500 bucks, but the, the lens that you're getting is, is way more valuable than the money that you're spending on it. Um, it is a Fujinon professional lens. It, I think it's a 14X zoom, and, and it's pretty sweet. Another thing that sets this EX apart from the little brothers is that it's got this nice shoulder mount. Okay, it's something that can actually sit on your shoulder and you can spend all day in the field shooting and not, you know, have to, uh, have to be doing bicep curls to, to prepare yourself for it. A couple other things that set it apart, watch how quickly from the time I turn it on to the time that it's ready to shoot. Wham! It's already ready. That was fast. Uh, some of the other cameras take a little bit of time to warm up. This one does not. Lastly, in the setting it apart from the other cameras, uh, Mr. Jose, check this out. The giant sideways flipping LED viewfinder. On, uh, in this mode, you've got a nice three and a half inch screen. You can close that up and get your classic EX3 style viewfinder. Or if you really got to darken it up, close it down, stick your eye right in the eyepiece there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, um, a couple other external features you want to know about. Two S by S slots. All right, you're getting an hour on a 16 gig card. You're getting two hours on a 32 gig card. It does have two slots. It's also compatible with those uh, snap-on hard drives, the PHU60K and the PHU120K. Some people like those, some people don't. Uh, it's got an HDMI output to get to your consumer monitors, and obviously it's got HDSDI if you're going into a switcher or a professional monitor. 